Hi guys, Knife Detector here. Check out this gorgeous, gorgeous Pakistan knife. It is a frost cutlery knife. It is a gorgeous three blade whittler. Now this is the kind of thing where if you put in your pocket, you're gonna know it's there, okay? It's a big knife. We're gonna weigh it in a little bit. It is, ooh, it's a little better. It's about four and a half inches, guys. It's about four and a half inches in the closed position, all right? Nothing to be ashamed of there, four and a half inches, guys, come on. So <laughs> four and a half inches is pretty darn okay. Uh, to me, that's a good size to have in your pocket. And um, four and a half inches is something that, you know, you're gonna put your hand in your pocket, you're gonna know something's there. My One of my biggest fears is that I am going to drop a knife and uh, I'm going to lose a knife because it's just so darn light and I forget that it's in my pocket, right? So I want to have something that I know is there. And we're going to weigh it in a little bit. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's something that if you want to, you can sheath carry it or you can just drop it in your pocket. These smooth lines and these curves and this sleeve board pattern just kind of lend itself to, you know what, to be pocket carry. It's a gorgeous little knife. I like it a lot. How much did I pay for this knife? I paid eight dollars for this knife you know there's some magic numbers out there that keep repeating with me i i end up paying eight bucks for a knife or ten bucks for a knife or 13 bucks for a knife uh 30 bucks for a knife 33 bucks for a knife sometimes these prices just come in patterns right like i paid eight bucks for this one i know previously i'd mentioned another knife i had paid eight bucks for so I paid eight bucks for this one but look what i got you see this is a frost knife frost cutlery right but the thing about this knife solingen steel is that check this out look at that spacer look at that long spacer see how it narrows down it's a split back look at that split back it's a split back how can a person make that incredible split back right in a knife that's this economical I mean, that's amazing. To me, that's amazing, okay? Now, the steel, I bet you it's 440. Yeah, it's got some scratches there. Um, it's got like a, what is this? Um, drop point, a kind of tonneau type with a swedge. And uh, you got your, uh, this is a spade blade. And this is a pin blade. And yeah, look, right there, it says Pakistan. See? So, <clears throat> this kind of has the blades that, that might be on a Stockman as well. But uh, this was sold as a Whittler. So I'm going to call it a Whittler, sleeve board Whittler. So this is a gorgeous little knife. It's got really good snap, half stop, very nice snap closed. It has the short nail pull and a long nail pull over here. Ugh. No half stop on the big blade. Decent snap, no play. And look at that split back. It goes all the way down to here. I mean, come on. That's miles and miles of split back. Look at that, guys. How the heck did they do that? Wow. I mean, just the craftsmanship on that is amazing. Nice. Very good. Oof. Hard to get that one out. But yeah, it will do the job. Surgical steel. It was not sharp when I got it. And uh, a few passes with my Easy Lap Diamond Hone, and it just came right back up. It is... It is paper cut and sharp right now. It is really good. So yeah, look at this beautiful knife, guys. It's a frosty, guys. It's a beautiful frosty. It's got that frost wood on it. Look at those rich greens. I mean, come on. Have this bad boy in your pocket. You know, pull it out when you're among your friends. Somebody needs a knife. You know, you pull this bad boy out and guess what? You know, it's going to be a conversation starter. They're going to say this is a well-made knife because it is. It's a well-made knife. And it was only $8. Again, that just tells me and it reiterates what I've been saying. You can find a knife and be happy. You can find a knife and be happy and you don't have to break the bank, you know. Although I know that all of that is relative, you know. $8 might be very expensive for somebody, especially these days, right? You know, so we got to take care of our money. And that's why I'm trying to show you these videos because I want for you to understand that you can find value in something that is also very inexpensive. 4.3 ounces. 4.3 ounces is not that heavy. 4.3 ounces is a little more than half the uh, half the weight of a buck uh, 110. That is not too bad. That is something that you can have in your pocket. And at four and a half inches, it's big that you can have it in your pocket. Substantial. But uh, I think that it can carry easily, either vertically or if it just lays down in your pocket, especially because of the smooth edges. I believe these are... I believe they're nickel silver, although it's very hard to tell on this one. 
this one has a little bit of a kind of like a gold colored tint on there so I'm gonna have to say nickel silver on these yeah I don't know guys tell me what you think I tell me what you think guys I think it's nickel silver but I do like those brass embellishments those brass spacers see how thick it starts there and works it way its way down to nothing look at that just a great looking eye okay guys this has been another episode of the knife detector y'all take care stay free stay safe my friends you know uh god bless you guys you know i have lots more videos coming i have one more pakistan video i'm going to show you coming up in my next next time i have a video uh it's not it's not a pakistan uh, knife i'm sorry it's a frost brand knife you know because i mentioned earlier that you know the videos i'm going to be making this little series and this is the second to the last of those they're cheap affordable traditional knives and those are usually to me frost or pakistan knives you know this knife the next one i'm going to show you is an akoi river knife and it is made in china uh but it's a beautiful beautiful elephant toe knife or sunfish some people call them elephant toe somebody call them sunfish i'm going to show you that one coming up in the next video you all take care god bless my friends